Greetings, poetry lovers and enthusiasts. Uh, we are at ZM Wise's YouTube channel. I'm Dustin Pickering. I am the official interviewer for today on uh, ZM Wise with his new collection, Illinois Infinitarium, published by Cherry House Press. So please tell us a little bit about this collection, uh, ZM Wise, and what uh, prompted you to write it. So I wrote this entire book within the span of a a few months, uh, at, at least, uh, at least two. I uh, I was working at this dealership, and I just wrote a few poems about my home state of Illinois. And I thought to myself, there's a collection spawning in here. So I I dedicated the entire notebook to to this. I the the title was already in my head. Um, Originally, it was going to be something called Wheeling Wielder, which is a poem that is also in here, and that would be dedicated to my actual hometown. I was born in Park Ridge, Illinois, raised for a very brief time in Arlington Heights, and then in Wheeling, Illinois, which is uh, a slight suburb uh, that's quite uh, not so far away from Chicago, but not particularly close either. And then I also thought about another title, which uh, was also a poem that was included here called Skokie Seer. And Skokie's my adopted hometown, which I love very much. And uh, it just made more sense to talk about the state as a whole. Most of the pieces in here cover uh, pieces of, about my uh, aforementioned hometowns, but I also wanted to include other parts of the state of Illinois itself and its, its beauty. Uh, and it's divided into five sections. The, uh, the, the, sorry, it's called The People, Places Everyone, which is dedicated to locations. Poetry is Vibrant here, which are, which could be pieces about poets or poetry in particular from Illinois or just have a more poetic outlook. Part four is Histories and Ages, which, uh, involved a great deal of research, as well as the aforementioned few other parts. And then part five is more personal, it's called Times and Ponderings, it's more philosophical, it's more inward, it's they're very introspective. And <laughs> the ironic inspiration for this book came from none other than Texas Pride. Upon moving here, I noticed the way people acted about the state of Texas, and from an outsider's glance, I thought it was a bit strange and cult-like. But, you know, reading about the history behind the state of Texas itself, it, it makes sense, and it just, it, it really influenced my Illinois pride. Now, I mean, I'm not going to boast about it, I'm not, I'm not here to say Illinois is the greatest state in the country, but it's, for me it is, I'm living proof that home is where the heart is, and I, uh, I love my birthplace, I, I, and I, of course acknowledging history and many, uh, <laughs> many unfortunate uh, incidents that weren't covered in this book, but writing them as we speak, who knows, in the future there might be a reissue with bonus material, so I greatly enjoyed writing this book. It was, uh, it was very much a labor of love. Yeah. So what, what's the cover art? What does that signify to you? So here's the funny part. <laughs> it says infinitarium. And within that word is infinite, which means boundless, vast, just onward. I, I mean, well, not onward per se, but just uh, it's never ending. However, <laughs> I pictured, besides the state, the outline of the state itself, somewhat of a coliseum, an arena, which is more constricted. It's meant to keep people in. Um, <laughs> and the entertainers of the coliseum, nine times out of ten, they died. So, I have no idea what was going on in my head at the time. It, it made sense at the time, and I, I ran with it. I ran with it. Why the hell not? Um, so I came up with the concept, and then Ariana Cherry from Cherry House Press, which is now known as Full Moon Inc., designed this. So, 
Would you like to read us a couple of uh, poems and give us an idea of the style that you approach uh, this work this work with? Yes, I would. So five of the pieces in here became songs. Um, a couple of them are blues pieces. Um, but I want everyone's ears to stay intact, so I'm just going to read a couple of actual pieces. Uh, okay, here we go. Um, okay. Voice. This is Ode to Lee Groban. Lee Groban was an important, in my opinion, very important and underrated Chicago figure. He wrote, uh, at the time, it was the longest poem ever recorded, The Cure uh, for Insomnia, and also <laughs> recorded a film uh, that included a reading of the entire piece, which took, at, <laughs> to my knowledge, nearly two days or a little over two days, and it was interspersed with heavy metal music, um, scenes from pornography, and a uh, hodgepodge of psychedelic images. It was and uh, it was quite, quite the piece. So, O to Lee Groban. <clears throat> Revisiting the eldest underground, stomping round, I am forever at the mercy of your elaborate mind schemes. A tree fall, a free fall into maelstrom, spiraling upwards from the Hancock. Lost my place there. <laughs> spiraling upwards from the Hancock. By the beard of your primordial Russian nobility, life could never be a drag. You eagerly carried around a scroll-like parchment with your 5,000-paged lives. By your never-ending beard, multicolored Kenyan garb, this video recording session will be a night to remember. Learn the film at the Art Institute's ambient auditorium. What is the cure for insomnia? A beat poem which is both pensive and paperless, only for the forethoughts. What is the cure for insomnia? Staying sane and lucid without lucid dreaming in a starry night, pacing to and fro with minimal effort. What is the cure for insomnia? Watching political debates, staring at marble paint dry and form cryptic messages on walls. We read poetry for your celebration. Bejeweled, speckled, and wise, you will always be in my prophetic heart. This is Otali Groban. The second piece I'm going to take from part three. Poetry is vibrant here. And this is a response to Carl Sandburg's uh, essential work, in my opinion, Chicago Poems. And it's called After Reading Chicago Poems, Carl Sandburg. A fused reaction of speechless, spellbound, and mystified. Who knew about the chaotic incision that has, was made beyond our back door and front porch? When the Great War knocked at the entrance of mud-covered trenches, my poetic ancestor was there. Owen and Crane were scribes of horrific imagery. After the Depression takes 1930s Prozac servings, we kayaked the now medieval lake, viewing reflections and spreading love of languages. Nearby, towards the end, a soiled dove carves a dirt-clotted sign of regret. I witnessed the evolution over yonder warehouse. Factory girls work their ponytails off for gender-biased pay. Male counterparts are not much better off devoting their entire well-being to sleepless nights and ten dollars per week positions. We 21st century zombified mortals call such unfairness slave labor. But we should know better than to nudge 1921 funds. Should I believe everything I read? And, uh, yeah, uh, this is, uh, this is an Illinois Infinitarium. Illinois Infinitarium and Cherry House Press, uh, ZM Wise's latest collection published. We can expect more from him in the future, as we spoke earlier of his collection coming out. Tell us just a little bit about that in, in conclusion, your next ongoing project for December 30th, I believe you said? Yes. So, coming out December 30th from Full Moon Inc., formerly known as Cherry House Press. It's called The Nightmare Mask. And uh, these pieces were written uh, a few years ago, December, uh, 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 I believe in 2017, actually. Mm -hmm. And 
So, in a nutshell, it's, uh, it's a sequence of nightmares, sleep paralysis, and I know this is going to sound uh, quite abnormal, but uh, <laughs> here we go. Temporary Demonic Possession. And as, as mentioned, it will be published on the 30th as a chapbook. One section's written as free verse poems, the other section's written as lyrics for a potential rock slash folk rock opera. And I, I, I kept the free verse pieces and rewrote them as lyrics, and it's up to the reader to decide how do they want to read this, uh, this just unfortunate twisted tale uh, that occurred in my life. Or they could read both. Who knows? So that'll be coming out quite soon. Keep a lookout for that. Everybody watching this video, thank you so much. Uh, check a look at uh, the rest of the videos on this channel. This is Dustin Pickering, and we were talking with ZM Wise today. And thank you so much, ZM, for your time. And thank you to our viewers. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Thank you so much. Have an excellent, excellent day.